Hey everybody, I'm here at Trevecca University in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, my friend Jason Atkins does a lot of really cool uh, planting, landscaping, edible um, park type of uh, plantings around the campus here. And here's an example of really great use of comfrey. Um, we have quite a few trees in this uh, sloping area here. Um, and you can see, even though the trees are bare, most of them, there's plenty of comfrey that's still kicking. Uh, and the comfrey comes up year after year. Uh, it's really easy to plant this thickly because um, comfrey propagates really quickly by root cutting. You just snap off a piece of the root or divide it with a shovel and replant it and it will grow into a whole new one. <clears throat> so you can see the idea is that around the base of each tree here, um, I think this might be an apple, I'm not sure. Um, he's got, looks like he's got some stinging nettles, which is pretty cool. Um, and then also some comfrey. And the comfrey, as it breaks down, the leaves um, turn into really good soil. It's also great habitat for spiders and it provides um, nectar for, for bees, which will attract them to pollinate the, the flowers on the tree itself. And every tree has a big, healthy comfrey plant around it. It's just like creating all that great, rich soil around it. And here's some new divisions. They probably just like hacked them off of the mother plant and just stuck a new one in the ground. Um, and at the very end here, we've got even more. This is a very lucky tree. It's got four, actually it's got more than four because if you look around the perimeter, <laughs> they're going, you know, not, I don't wanna say overboard because you can't, but they're, they're, they're definitely getting serious about their comfrey here. You can see there's a concentric circle all the way around. <laughs> and so they're really trying to improve the soil here and, it, um, and they, they're mulching. Um, and also this is really good because you can see there's a lot of Bermuda grass in, in this area of the country. Bermuda grass is a big problem. And by having, like if you can imagine that barrier around the entire perimeter of the tree, um, you're gonna like be able to stop the, the Bermuda grass from approaching because like there's no way um, the Bermuda grass can like pass through a, a barrier of this stuff. So it's a great example of really good use of comfrey um, in, in temperate climate uh, forest gardens. So I hope you learned something.